Okay, actually, let me try to equalize the audio real fast. Give me a second. Let me just open any random clip that I have. I'm going to go back to February 2022. Apparently, that one's a big Kenneth Copeland week. And let me just open the first one I see. And we're going to watch this clip while I balance the audio. It's two minutes long. It's Kenneth Copeland. And it's about him owning a private jet. Okay, ready? All right, let's balance this. Years and years and years ago, Jerry Savelle was preaching. And he was talking about naming the sea. And we needed engine overhauls on a twin engine airplane. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Test, test. And we needed overhaul on both those engines. And the ministry didn't have the money to do it. And we, we had to have that. And he, he talked about naming your seed. And so I, I took my offering. I added a little bit to it. I said, Lord, these are, these are, we, these are engine overhauls. Now, that, that's not money. That's an engine overhaul. That's a beautiful thing about sowing money. You, it can be named uh, as, as anything you need. It was absolutely amazing. Okay, I think, I'm, I, think I got it balanced. Okay, so uh, Copeland, all right, let's keep listening to this. Roll. That's a beautiful thing about sowing money. You, it seat. can be named uh, as, as anything you need. It was absolutely amazing. It just seemed like it was overnight. The money and, and the way it came in, people people would send money in and say, we don't know what you're fixing, but here's some more money. Well, we don't know. Uh, and then I have a lot of, lot of aviators that are partners, you know, to the ministry. And they'd say, I don't know, it seemed like Brother Copeland needs an overhaul on, on engines or something. And they would earmark it. <laughs> and it just whoo. I mean, you know what he's doing here, right? He's trying to tell his audience to send him more money so that he can overhaul his plane engine or whatever. I don't know. Kind of an underhanded, dirty, scumbag thing to do, in my opinion. Like, you're almost a billionaire, Copeland is. He's almost a billionaire. He, I think he's got $800 million under his belt here. And he's telling people to send him money for engine overhauls like he needs it and there it was and it just seemed like it was overnight you know dad people have sometimes i think they have a problem with preachers saying something like that they, somebody's out there probably right now saying well he just wants your money right now that's why he's saying that yeah i mean i'm just saying it seems a little like that to me but when we put our money on the table we're telling the lord I'm taking what I have that may be this much of what I need, but I'm taking what I have and putting it in your hands because I trust That's you That's for my good. source. You're my source. That's so good. it's not a gimmick. Years. Yeah. The problem here is that these televangelists keep conflating themselves with God. They keep putting those two things together and saying, when you send money to us, you're sending that money to God. Uh, no, you're sending that money to Kenneth Copeland, actually, is who you're sending that money to. What makes you think it's going to God? In no way, shape, or form, no stretch of the imagination, is this money contributing in any way to getting people closer to Jesus. This is contributing to overhauling Kenneth Copeland's plane engine, is what it's doing. 